Hello. It's wonderful to be with you again today. Short video today. I have been a student of Gongaji's spiritual teacher for about 13 years at this point. She is my mothership. I think I spoke about her in my introductory video on my channel. And she's in the lineage of Papaji, you know, her teacher was Papaji, and then Ramana Maharshi was you know, his teacher. So that is the lineage which it comes from. And one of the teachings that she talks about a lot is this concept of no movement. And she talks about there being three different directions of movement, meaning the ways in which we respond to challenges, difficulties, things that happen in our lives. And often they can be habitual. We can tend to do the, repeat the same one. Anyway, let me say what they are. That first one being the way we can respond to something is that we can run away from it, like out of fear, go, Wah! avoid it, right? Just go, mm -mm -mm, get in out of here. There's one way we can respond to something, which is, um, yeah, like avoiding, right? Moving away from, let's call it that. We'll call it moving away from, is that energy. And then the second energy is, pushing up against something, like resisting, fighting, pushing really like, oh, it, oh. arguing, like, no, not accept, oh, kind of thing, right? So that's the second one, like pushing up against. And then the third one is moving towards, which very often is this idea of, in a challenging, difficult moment, we might try to people please, we might say, oh, love me, no, it's okay, or try and gain someone's respect, or that, that sort of moving towards energy. Uh, so there's the three, there's the moving towards, there is the pushing up against, and there is the moving away from. And as I say, we tend to have a habitual way in which we might respond. And of course, in different situations, we do different things. At different times, we do different things. And it only ever becomes kind of an issue or a problem when we keep doing the same thing and it's causing us trouble. We're recognizing like, oh, I keep doing that, I keep. I notice that fear is really taking place to keep avoiding things, keep running away from things and not wanting to go there and address things. So this morning I was speaking with somebody and they were talking about their Thanksgiving dinner with family. And they were saying that there were lots of difficult conversations going on. There's different political beliefs and different opinions about all sorts of things. And so we had the Thanksgiving last week and people can, you know, get on their high horse talking about this, talking about that and with siblings, with families and stuff, we can really, it can be a time we might disagree, it can be challenging, it can also be wonderful and incredible, but there, there can also be difficulties when families get together. So that's what made me think about this, the three ways in which we, in which we habitually tend to respond. Mm. And from that, what I would like you to do is is maybe just cast a moment, think about, and this is something that will you'll be thinking about after you've watched this video too, because it might not just come to mind now in this instant to be saying, well, I know I do that, I do this. It may be require a little bit of awareness of how you respond to things, how you tend to respond to things, and how you respond to things going forwards. Just sort of take a moment to like, oh, notice what am I doing here? What's happening? And it's an energy. So it's this energy of moving away from like, whoa, or resisting something, or moving towards. So just bring some awareness to how you tend to respond. Because the key of all of this in, in Gongaji's teachings is that there is, there is another option, which when we're in the throes of, of being triggered or responding and responding to something, we tend to overlook it. It is this place of stillness of not responding, but not responding by, I am not budging, I refuse to do anything. Not that kind of, not movement, but a true not moving, not moving towards, not moving away from, and not pushing against. Stopping, really just being still. Because stop can have people kind of go, stop! I don't mean that, I just mean do nothing. Stop, just let go, just let go. So I wonder if you can close your eyes, it's an invitation, close your eyes and get a feeling of when you're moving towards something, think of an example, like moving towards, you see energy moving towards, and then clear the screen, and then do 
the energy of moving away from something. Feel that energetically inside of your body, just for a minute. Moving away from. How that feels when you're moving away from something. Feel it energetically. Then clear the screen. And then the last one, do that pushing up against. When you're like pushing, fighting. Feel that for a minute. Feel that energy of that. And then clear the screen. With your eyes still closed. Quickly run through the moving towards, moving away from, pushing up against. And instead of all of those three, refuse in this moment to move anywhere. And instead, just open your awareness and be still. Be still. Take some deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And be still. No movement. If thoughts arise, never mind. Like clouds in the sky, let them pass by. Don't attach to them. Be still. Do absolutely nothing in this moment. Continue to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And experience what this stillness is like, what this no movement is like. This is like a portal into all of who you are. As an infinite, eternal being. As a droplet of love. Mm. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. So the next time you notice you're being triggered by something, recognize, ah, I'm doing this. I'm moving away from, I'm moving towards. And those movements repeatedly can cause us trouble. They can cause us suffering. So just take a moment to recognize there's another choice here. I don't, I don't have to fight. I don't have to move away from. I don't have to fawn and say, love me, love me, accept me. I can actually just be still and be quiet and fall inside. And let that energy move through your whole being. You don't have to forcibly make it do anything. Just allow it. Just be there. Be all of who you are. I hope that you enjoy this little gift that I'm sharing with you today. I really do honestly encourage you to use this in your life. Begin to begin to adopt this. And it's, it's a wonderful way to, to just come home to who you are. You're not trying to achieve anything or obtain anything or manifest anything. <laughs> you're just being, you're just, there we go. <laughs> you're just being, you are, you're just being, that's it. It's as simple as that. Mm. It changes the way that we respond then in the moment when we get, begin, it's like falling into the gap, right? Like the gap between the thoughts. The more that we do this, the easier it becomes to access it. Mm. It's a beautiful, beautiful, I hate to use the word practice, but you, know, you get the gist of it. So, and uh, I also want to remind you that I'm going to be starting group work in January online. Can't wait. Looking forward to that. Yeah, just a reminder about that. And that, oh, mm, that's going to be so lovely. So nice to have groups of people meeting together where I can actually do live channelings, live transmissions, and take questions from people and help guide them through any, you know, any obstacles and, and to just sort of be a bit of a mentor, really, having been on a spiritual journey for 18 years. Hmm. Just to help be there for you, to be that supportive guiding hand for you. More on that in my next video. And as usual, it has been an absolute pleasure spending a little bit of time with you today. Thank you for popping in and listening to this, watching it. Um, yeah, so if you liked it, like it below. Helps it to get seen by people. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And do share it with your friends if you know people who would just enjoy 
listening to these videos, if they would, um, yeah, if they would gain value from it, or it would just be supportive or helpful for them in some way, please pass it along. I'm all about sharing love with a capital L in the world, spreading it around. Until next time. Goodbye.